if you're a leader if you're an executive in a business if you're an executive anywhere or if you just lead people or you're running a business or you're running a team there is one quality that is the most important that everybody around you will be looking for and that everything that happens within your organization hinges on so if you want it to if you want your business your organization your team your community whatever you're running if you want it to be successful as the leader one quality that you have to have leaders can't be successful without it it's the most essential trait of any leader it's the most essential leadership trait you cannot be successful without it and it's called integrity if a leader acts with integrity that leader will treat their people right and do what's best for their business for the organization for if you're running a, a city or a state or a country whatever you'll do what's right for your people the words the actions that the decisions that the leader makes the things that a leader does to to help create a company's true value and culture is all based on integrity if a leader has no integrity you soon will have no followers or you will have a riot or you will have anarchy or something leaders are judged by their character they're judged in the character that they have and the competence that they have and within that character when you're judged as a leader based on your character within that character is integrity so what does it mean to be a leader with integrity first it means be honest and treat people well <clears throat> you know all you have to do is look and see what's going on across this country you will see mayors you will see governors treating people badly not being honest and pursuing whatever they're doing based on power power is seductive power is intoxicating and when you're in a position of leadership and you find out you have power a lot of people use that because they find out they can it's not called integrity when you've got a governor who decides that the people need to be punished for not following the rules if you have a governor that decides that just because they want to achieve something bigger and better for themselves they're going to make you do what they want it's not called integrity and then when it when you find out that the reason that the governor is doing it is for their future political purposes that's not integrity you will soon find revolt um, probably some riots and some anarchy coming the second thing that a, a leader with integrity needs to do is you need to be quick to praise other people for their contributions for what they do the leader doesn't do it all the, in fact the leader doesn't do squat typically when it comes to a project if the leader has to do all the work you're a bad leader and you don't need everybody else a true leader has a team of people around them who are accomplishing amazing things and the leader has got to be quick to praise them for what they accomplish that builds integrity so fast it builds trust it builds support it builds followers another thing a leader with integrity needs to do is you need to hold yourself accountable hold yourself accountable to other leaders people you that you associate with hold yourself accountable to your staff to your employees to your people because if you don't hold yourself accountable they will quickly give up on you and say he never says what he means she never does what she says she's gonna do why should I even participate why should I even show up hold yourself accountable hold yourself accountable to yourself start there it's like a lawyer that takes on a case and because of personal problems personal issues health issues whatever it might be just lets it go and says and you know tells their clients yeah well 
I'll get to it. My health is kind of bad right now, but I'll get to it. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. And it drags on and on and on. And lawyers aren't, aren't the only ones. But you have to hold yourself accountable to your clients, to your customers, to your staff, to your peers, if you want integrity. You have to treat everyone fairly. You can't find your pets and say, hey, you get to do all this, you get the good stuff, I'm gonna let you do this, I'm gonna let you have this, and then find somebody that maybe you don't really like and you treat them differently. You give them all the hard work. You make them stay extra. You make them work overtime when your pets don't have to. A leader with integrity treats everybody fairly. And a leader with integrity will find out how other people view them. If you really want to know if you're seen as a person with integrity, start asking people how they really see you. Some of you don't want to ask that question. Some of you are afraid to ask that question. But you should. And if, it, if you're not getting the answer you want, you need to turn around and look at yourself and say, what's going on? What have I done to lose trust in people, to lose integrity that I thought I had? And another good way to build integrity is to be vulnerable. You know what? Even leaders make mistakes. Even leaders screw up. It happens. It happens a lot, actually. Because we're human. We're not perfect people. We're not infallible. If you make a mistake, admit it. Say so. And then turn around and fix it. Don't do it again. Learn from it. Move on and fix it. That's a great way to develop integrity with your people is when they see you saying, you know what, I screwed up on that. I'll admit that. Now let's go fix it and don't do it again. They will find that it's easier for them to maybe find a little grace when they screw up. Because if you're always jumping down their throat when they screw up, but you never admit when you screw up, you're not going to be a leader for much longer. You have no integrity. <clears throat> Leaders need to model <clears throat> and visibly reinforce integrity to everyone in the organization. You can't pick and choose. It can't be just a few. It has to be a way of life. It has to be a standard. It has to be a value that you have. So if you want to be a successful leader, if you want to be a successful executive in your corporation, learn to be a leader with integrity. First of all, lead with integrity. You can't get it. You can't really, you can't buy it. It's kind of hard to earn it, but you can earn it because it's given to you by how you treat other people. That's your Friday focus. Kind of a little hard one today. But just look around, look around in a lot of businesses, a lot of communities, a lot of governments. There is so much lack of integrity because people would rather lead with power than with, lead with integrity, and that's sad. They'll get much farther down the road if they lead with integrity. So you, as a leader, become a leader with integrity. Become a person of integrity because we need you to be. We need you to be that person. We need you to lead that way because we all want to move forward and we all want to succeed. I'm Mark Schinner coming to you from the porch again on a pretty cold Friday morning with your Friday focus. I hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend. I'll talk to you tomorrow.